Well, I'm told you've been discussing edible plants with L.A., and I can assure you that's not what these lions are looking for. She's taking what looks like a bit of a toilet break there, but they are looking very, very intently to the left of where they are now. There's another one you can see staring off in the distance, and I think they could be looking at a topi and its youngster. Some of you may have seen a lioness, possibly these same ones, trying to hunt that same topi this morning with Jamie. And there's also some zebra in the area and other general game. So there you can see she's pacing ahead quite intently. I'm guessing that these are two lioness from the Angama Pride, judging from their location, and also judging by the fact that there's a whole bunch of cubs that we're about to show you now that because she's disappeared. We've still got the flaps down. Oh, the other lioness is running to keep up with her. Let's just show everyone the cubs quickly while they're playing around. They're just nestled in those bushes there. There's a whole clump of them. I'm not too sure exactly how many, and they're having a whale of a time. It looks like they are making the most of the edible plants in the area. What are the chances of that happening? Okay, so we've still got our flaps down because it is still a little bit rainy, but it is kind of holding up, so I think we may try and put them up. Let's just try and get a visual of what exactly they are hunting because they certainly are after something. What time will only tell, and I'm not fairly certain it's not going to take us long to get into a vantage point where we can actually see what it is they are after and also how far away that prey is so that's also another important thing to factor into the equation when the lions are hunting especially regarding where we are going to position our vehicle now interestingly I can't see anything at first glance huh. but maybe their eyes are well they're definitely better than mine not maybe and I'm just going to stop here and have a quick scan. We're not going to be able to see the lions for the time being, but let's just have a scan ahead in this area and see if we can't work it out what it is. It's definitely not the large herd of elephant that we can see. Well, this is interesting because their body language was indicating like that they were intent on something quite close by. Yet, I'm not sure about you guys, but I can't see anything. Hmm. Some zebra way off in the distance there. So maybe that's what they've spotted. Who knows, maybe they've heard something. Maybe that's what's caught their attention. Or maybe it is just those zebra. Either way, good prospects. Very, very good prospects. Even though the prey is far away, the lion are looking intently in their direction. They've stopped just off to the right of the vehicle. Possibly if I push this out, you may be able to see. No, no joy. Um, but they are just over there. They're stationary for now. And because the prey is quite a long way off, I think this might be a good opportunity for us to lift the flaps up and for us to do that, I'm not going to be very entertaining. So I'd suggest that we quickly send you off while there's still some time to prepare for the action that could unfold in the next few minutes. It could take a while. It could take a few minutes. Only time will tell. But certainly a wonderful, wonderful start to the afternoon. But we are going to need to send you off to another vehicle while I... Let me just... Let's just show everyone. We've got all these flaps down. We've been driving with the wind in our favor. So the rain's been blowing into all these flaps. And that's been allowing us to keep dry, but now that the rain stopped for the time being, and especially because these lions are looking quite intense on some possible prey, we are going to send you back down to LA in South Africa.